what's good guys what's good welcome to another tutorial and before I get into anything please hit the subscribe button I do need the uh, support because I want to be one of those people who make maps and I have so much fun ideas for Fortnite creative maps but I just need you guys to bring it to life where you guys can hop on and play the maps two things about my maps they're extremely addictive and they're fun and of course they, it gives you XP so I don't hide my XP like some of those maps I make sure you do what you need to do to get the XP so let me go in and let me go into a little bit of how I set up my XP you know when someone they they say you got to do this and this and this and that and and you know you get a chunk of XP I literally don't do that and what Fortnite does Fortnite set your XP where it's reasonable for me if I'm going to give you a little bit of XP I'm making sure that the little bit of XP is multiple like killing zombies let's say you kill a hundred zombies right one zombie cause small amount of XP added up so the first to hit like 50 get like a, a, a medium amount of XP so I make sure that you are playing the game or playing the maps and you're getting XP to a point where it makes sense so let's say you hit the 50 mark of a zombie you get XP when you while you're collecting the small amount of XP so let's say you hit a hundred you get that large amount of XP so the whole point I want to do for you guys is that create maps that give you XP and you're extremely addicted to it alright now that aside let me get into the device we're gonna be working with today and I know you guys seen this device in a lot of Fortnite maps and uh, to be honest this device if you know what you're doing you can use this one device to do many many things you can use this device to be um, you can use the device as a key you can use this device as whatever your creative mind wants this device to be you can do it even though it got like uh, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve options right you can do twelve options with it I don't need to explain this to you this is self-explanatory and I don't need to explain this as well what I normally explain in the video is all the objectives and the options and all of that that it can do all right so let me just give you a little preview of what people normally use these coins or collectibles for so as you can see you got three and I can collect it bop there you go bop and there you go again and the final one so to win a match I collect three coins alright that's uh, that's the basic use for this um, that's the basic use for this device right here and the device is called collectible object so you got so we're gonna start with the object you got like tons and tons of like literally tons and tons of icon for this and image and um, different you know you literally literally got a whole lot of option for this all right so the scroll normally when you see a scroll you know new move and stuff like that and bada bing bada bing bam 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 you already know how the olden days video game so let's say you grab this scroll you can able to give the player access to jump i'm not going to show you how to do that that is for your mind to create a level i can give you an idea but it's gonna be a whole lot of work right so you can use a class designer and set the class designer to um to activate jump like double jump well not double jump um what you call it uh mantle or whatever you know you just have to be creative 
you can set it you know anything that let's say you want like a clue you can set it to show the clue you can set it where you collect this you get like something as a key whatever your mind want to make this collectible reveal you can attach it to it because later on later on when i'm done showing you guys all the device i'm gonna go into mechanism mechanism meaning what triggers what to create what you know what i'm saying so i can give you different types of mechanism that would like make your map extremely addictive and extremely fun to play and all of that so let's move it to ramen this one is pretty pretty it's pretty basic and what i would use this as whenever you pick up a ramen you you get hp let's say 25 hp and stuff like that because what people don't understand is that when you play a video game you know they always drop that fried chicken and like a meat substance or something that you know represent health you can also use it you can definitely also use it definitely use it use this as one of those gold coins you can actually pick this and you get coins alright you know what instead of just telling you I'm gonna show you but this tutorial only represent I'm only representing the collectible alright I'm just gonna show you the difference in how to use it alright so I'm gonna copy like five one two three alright so we got more than five alright so I'm gonna use a scroll scroll change this one to scroll uh, change this one to ramen I'm gonna change this one to gold coin gold coin is already there I don't want to use the music time because going into any music um, what yo fortnite you kind of racist for that though watermelon all of that okay uh, all right here we go so these are the things that you would use in your maps you know the coins and stuff like that anyway so I am going to do a small little mechanism but I'm gonna cut that out because I do not want it in the video so it becomes confusing all right so please bear with me I'm gonna cut the video right here so you will understand that I'm only giving tutorial for the collectible object. Alright, so all all right. done. here we go. So what I'm trying to explain to you with the collectibles, you can use them for various reasons. You want to put like a story line. You can use these in storylines, whatever you want to give to your map, right? So at the end of the day, let's get into what I was trying to explain to you. So for let's reuse let's let's use this as a regular coin base collectible. I set it up where you can get coins right there we go I can actually get coins and uh, as I said before you can use these as uh, store based type you know collectibles boom I got 25 shield and it also give me health as well because I set it because I set it that way let's say you're playing against zombie right and you have these all over the map or if you want to make sure that you set these in a way that you know people can actually you can actually get help but if you want to do like a one of those platform games and you lose hp if you fall down the area you can actually use that as the regeneration of life you know what i'm saying so you can use these any way you want you just have to be creative and for this one i even give it a little story mode there we go congratulations you've learned the art of super jump you know 
yeah so any given way you want to set your collectibles that's how you can set them so I'm just basically giving you the ideas of what you can use with the collectibles objective so if you want to make like a coin based game where you know you get XP for collecting a coin and stuff like that you know how it goes bop this is my second coin and bop it ended the, the whole game you get what I'm saying so what I'm trying to do for you guys is that I'm trying to explain the various ways you can use your coins you can use this as like a very exploring places and stuff like that giving me like a congratulation you have learned how to fly you have learned how to mantle you have learned how to super jump you have learned how to various things because this icon right here obviously for video game if you play a lot of video games you see that's a secret scroll that gives you new abilities so boom there I go congratulations you've learned the art of super jump enjoy so you can make like a storyline for your map and the collectibles is a nice little way to say hey grab this you know money you can actually set it up where let's say you need coin to buy different moves or different um, abilities perks inside your maps this is a nice way to use the collectibles so I'm giving you various ideas let's say that's health and this is shield and you can go around actually you know fighting monsters using sword whatever you want to do so this is the reason why I'm giving the tutorial on the the collectible so we're gonna move over to their ability, um, the options we're gonna move over to the option and I'm going to go give you a, a very good explanation on how to use the um, objective part the collectible object part all right so for all options we got different we got different things you can pick whatever you want you can actually pick whatever you want uh, this one is not changing okay here we go see puzzle that could be a clue this could be like a, a mutagen or some mutating you know ability you know health whatever you want this also here can give you it's a basically a symbol for speed or some some something what I'm trying to do for you is give you various ideas on you know what you could actually use with these with these um object customized object all right so here's where things get interesting now for the score area you can actually play like a score game you know the more people collect the the, um, the collectibles they get points you can give them five one ten doesn't matter once you set this here in the device you're you're gonna have to go into the world map settings island settings which is right over here and you go into the round section so let's say every or the first player who collect three coins or three shoes or three this or three that ends the game and you know that can actually give them XP but based on what you want to do for your map you can actually make your map something from start to end or ongoing because you know time limit you can make a time limit infinite you know no time limit so whatever you want your map to be it's there you just have to know your settings so if you're going for like a, a collect coin base and you don't want the person to leave the map after they collect a certain amount you can literally have something that reset everything respawn every single collectible and they start again but I, that's not my style of map creating I want people to hop in the map again and again and again and again I don't want to like force them to stay because when you put no time limit on the map you're forcing them to stay 
you want to give them a choice to either you want to do a different map or continue playing but it's nothing is wrong with having a map that has no time limit but you want to give them the sense that say hey this is actually a really good um, map let's play it again and again and again and again you know what I'm saying so that's how I prefer people to make their maps where people can just hop on it again and again and again and again and again and again so that's what I'm uh, that's what my style of making map is so that's where you go to you know make sure your score and all that and if you want to do a uh, if you want to do a, a map with no points collected you have to turn the score to zero so the ambience audio I don't need to explain that the collecting team you already know whatever you want the players on the team yeah so let's say player one cannot call it this only player one can call it it or player two you already know what to do right here a load class you already need to know what you already supposed to know what class is so the class designer there you go you know what I'm saying so at the end of the day that's something you should already know I don't know if I give a tutorial on it but if I do give a tutorial on it I'm gonna make sure that I go to a hundred percent of that device consume if collectible by itself anyone you know anyone so if anyone so if the first person that grabs it it's gone you can set it that way you know what I'm saying so that's how you set the collectible to you know operate in the map or in the game visible to opposing team um you can have it visible to one team everybody or until collected right so i think i should i i honestly think you should be visible to everybody but it depends on your map and what you're going for your map that settings is basically you know whoever you want to see the objective the, the collectible so if you want team one to see it set it to team one if you want team two to see it set it to team two but you can make it collectible by all but only a specific people so it doesn't really matter what you want to go for it's what you want to put in your map visible on game start you can set it show pickup effect you can set it only visible audio whatever you want to do whatever you want to set your stuff display score update so if you want this to show up on the map like how many how many person that collects it that's what this is for reset hood message score that's how it is when the art when the device display a score message on the hood should it start from zero whatever you want to do with that there you go the hood message what yo they even add some new stuff where you can able to redecorate the the words and you have the collectible can give it whichever color you know you want custom color you know so that's basically everything about the collectible object um but if you have any form of question feel free to ask in the comment all of that so it's nothing it's nothing hard it's definitely nothing hard definitely nothing hard you can basically you know you basically can do whatever you want with these items right do not pay attention to these we're only focusing on the collectibles object right so anything you want you can literally set them to work let's say you want this to revive someone let's say I got knocked and I want to collect this to revive you can set it but I'm not gonna show you mechanism until I'm done with every single devices or if someone you know want me to do it you can literally yo I have so many ideas and so many ways to do um self revive I have a very clever way to do self revive but I'm not going to go into that I even have a, a object where you can actually use to self revive 
but there's a level of self revive that I I don't I'm trying to go for a self revive like Call of Duty where you get it as an object in your arsenal and once you use it it's gone I can do it that way I can actually do it that way but there's some other way for self revive and it is kind of crazy it is actually crazy so I don't know it's, it's, it's work in progress because I learned that you can actually do some crazy stuff with items in here but you just have to be creative you just have to be creative so I'm going to give you a little demonstration after I'm going to set up the self revive and show you exactly what I mean you know what I'm saying so after this I'm going to show you I'm just going to give you a little piece of what I can actually do in Fortnite creative all right so back in on this just to show you what I'm actually trying to explain so as you already know the collectible is the topic for the this video right oh nah I shouldn't have collected that that's crazy Alright, so the collectible, as I said in my um, before all of this, was that you could make anything with this, even self revive. Um, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go into the whole how to make this self revive, but I'm just gonna show you an idea. So I use this device right here. We're not gonna go into that to knock myself. And as I can say, you can make self revive using these. You know what I'm saying? So. That's how it is. I can't do it again because the self revive only activate once for the collectible. I would have to set it where it respawns. So the idea I'm trying to give you guys is that you can create what some stuff for video game in the, your creative map. And um, I'm still trying to figure out how to make a self revive, like with either an item or you know stuff like that you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna end the video right here um, if you reach at the end of this video please hit the subscribe button share the video go check out my other tutorial go check out my other content because I'm definitely trying to get this YouTube page up and running because I took a long break and I hope you find this very helpful on how to use the collectibles you know how to use the collectibles so if you don't understand anything all you need to do is just leave a comment in the comment section leave a question whatever you need to ask and uh, you know ask the question and I'll get to you so here's the thing if you want me to make a mechanism for you I would have to go into Fortnite see what can be used give you various ways how to do it and stuff like that I also even do have a service where you know I play Fortnite with people and all that you can buy my time how long you want me in the lobby how long you want to purchase my service for um, I can give you I can also sell you mechanisms on how to do all of these stuff for you I don't have UFN Unreal Engine creative maps but I just use the basic because I'm using this on PlayStation 4 I haven't really looked into it because I need like a powerful computer to you know stuff like that so I just rather just use the basic just to help you know people get um get, get their the, the basic knowledge on how to you know with all of this so don't forget to f subscribe leave questions in the comment section and you know I'll get to them whatever you need on the topic or whatever help you need yeah I'll, I'll make sure to do my best to help you guys